What's up, pen pals? Tom with Goldspot Pens here again for our monthly top five list of the hottest pens on goldspot.com. Which pen will take the top spot this month? Will it be a fountain pen, a ballpoint? Maybe it's just a pen that you added to your collection this month, or maybe it's a pen that you've never heard of. Let's take a look at this month that was in the world of fine writing. In May, we took a tour of Germany, visiting Pelican in Hanover, Lamy in Heidelberg, and Coeco in Nuremberg. After over a decade of writing, selling, and discussing these brands with our customers, it was surreal to see these pens created before our eyes. We shot plenty of factory video, interviews, and walkthroughs to share with you here in the coming weeks. Make sure you're subscribed to get updated when the latest video is released. After we had our fill of bratwurst, beer, and pens, we made it back here for Mother's Day, or as they call it in Germany, Muttertag. The Lamy Safari Pastel made a fantastic gift for Mum, but there was another German pen that unseated the Safari on our top five list. Here's my quick disclaimer about the top five list. These top five pens are based on sales, likes, comments, and customer reviews on goldspot.com during the month of May. This isn't my personal top five list or greatest of all time list. It's a list created by you, the fine people of the online pen community. So at number five, we have the Monteverde Giant Sequoia that we had on Weekly Dip special this month. The Giant Sequoia is made of solid acrylic resin and it is acrylic through and through and it's a rather girthy pen and it just has like a little bit of metal here in the section uh, but the pen itself is rather large so it's definitely not for smaller petite sized hands or for those who prefer a little bit narrower of a writing instrument the uh, nib on it is a number six size it's a monteverde nib it's not a yovo or a bach nib from what i understand but it's more of a, uh, a production nib that monteverde makes uh, overseas and possibly in taiwan i believe the colors that we had available were either the green or the brown stripe which are kind of nice earthy colors that uh, go along with the theme of it being named after a giant tree. These are some of the most popular pens that we had uh, as our weekly dip special and we still do have a good amount of stock but although it's not as great of a price as it was when it was on the weekly dip but that's kind of how the whole weekly dip thing works is that it's on sale for an even better discount for just one week and one week only and then it goes back up after that but these are still on a good discount in our clearance section if you're interested comes in either the fountain pen or the ballpoint mode and the fountain pen is available in a variety of different nib sizes ranging from extra fine to a 1.1 millimeter stub. Number four on our list is this beauty right here. This is the Pelican Souverain 600 in the violet white. It continues a tradition of models of Pelican pens that have the white cap, white section, white blind cap, and a striped barrel that is in a different color that kind of pops on the pen. So there was originally the turquoise white, then we have the violet white, and there was also the white transparent too, if you remember, that was a 605 model that had the silver trims. But this has the gold trims, which then also matches the bicolor gold 14 karat gold nib. So we also had commissioned for us an amazing pen sleeve made by the folks at Rickshaw Bags in San Francisco, California. We told them, hey, this new pen is coming out. We would love to have a matching pen sleeve that goes with this. So we had Mark from Rickshaw prototype us a version, and he put this together. It was amazingly beautiful. It goes perfectly with this pen, and uh, you know, has the white trim with the gold lettering on the, the sleeve uh, tag that's here. And then, of course, the sleeve is purple with the um, off-white stripes on here. So what we're doing is uh, an introducing this pen this month and we saw these roll off of the line in Hanover when we were in the Pelican factory and we knew they were coming soon so when we came back a week later these arrived on our doorstep and we included the pen sleeve with the purchase of any of the fountain or ballpoint pens in this collection. So we expect that this special edition will probably be around for some time. They usually last about 
I would say like eight months to a year. So if you are interested in this or want to continue your co collection of 600s that are in this white and colorful pattern, uh, my guess is that they will probably come out with more after this and pair them with other different colors of the barrel. So uh, definitely would jump on this sooner than later because these are quite popular. Number three on our list is a ballpoint pen. And before you start throwing tomatoes at your YouTube screen, uh, allow me to elaborate. So Carandash and Nespresso, both Swiss brands that are relatively known for their ecologically sensitive, um, responsible company practices. So they collaborated together last year and they made this dark and blue model of the 849. So the aluminum barrel of this pen is actually made from recycled Nespresso capsules, as it says on here, and also the packaging, if you notice, is made out of rather austere cardboard packaging, which is also recyclable as well. But the whole idea is taking something that would have ordinarily be wasted in our culture and then recycling it and making it to something new that can last a long time. So these 849 pens are one of some of the best ballpoint pens that you can get on the market. They have a long lasting Goliath ballpoint refill that's installed inside that will write for 600 A4 size pages and some untold uh, number of meters in length and uh, and they have a very pleasant click action mechanism. Uh, both of these do also have a little note that's written on the back that says made with recycled Nespresso capsules. So this uh, dark on blue was last year's limited edition and we do have the very last of it is selling right now at goldspot.com. We have have the India Green, which is the new edition for 2019, and this is kind of like a khaki slash army slash could be possibly split pea soup type of green, which kind of looks cool. It's not your everyday sort of green that you would see, um, but it definitely has that sort of uh, matted uh, feel and, and kind of like a little bit rough hewn. So it definitely has like a cool sort of, you know, recycled vibe about it. And, uh, and definitely if this is something that you want to add to your collection or uh, to buy something that's a little bit more eco-friendly in terms of ballpoint pen usage, then definitely check the Carandash out. So number two on our list is a rollerball pen, but not just any rollerball pen, is a Retro 51 Tornado Popper limited edition rollerball pen, and his name is Stan. Stan for the Stanley Cup. It is a pen that's dedicated to the sport of ice hockey, and the Stanley Cup is the highest prize for the NHL. What they had gone and done with Retro 51 is build a rollerball pen that is partially translucent, that you actually could see through an icy white barrel and it's meant to reflect the whole idea of a ice hockey rink with all of the different markings on there for the sport of ice hockey. And on the very top of the finial of the twisted uh, twist neural knob, you would see the goalie mask that would be on the top of there. So it's a, a well executed themed limited edition. It was only 950 pieces and they went really quick. Uh, they, they fled quicker than uh, you know Wayne Gretzky on skates. They just went right out the door and we had them for about a week, our allocation at least, and we didn't get the full 950 pieces, although we would have liked to, and that's why it is number two on our list. Number one for the second straight month in a row, and your number one pen of May 2019 is the Retro 51 and Gold Spot Pens exclusive New York City Skyline fountain pen. Now, that did carry over because we did release it at the end of April, and by the time that we had done the video in April, it was already our number one pen, and then it carried over and we had sold the rest of the edition. Uh, and there's only, at the time of the shooting, and I'm not sure, that if by the time that we'll post the video, if it will sell out, but we are very, very close. We're maybe like less than 10 pens away with mostly stub nibs available. So this edition was, uh, was designed in collaboration with us. We had wanted to essentially take the rollerball version that started the whole entire Skyline series and transform it into a fountain pen utilizing the new grip section and the new Yovo nib that Retro 51 had added and had 
it improved upon their fountain pen design and then take it to that next level with making it a limited edition, making it about the New York City skyline, and then making it a glow-in-the-dark pen. And also too is if you've collected the other, the Rollerball, and you got the fountain pen, it's a great duo uh, between the two. So uh, unfortunately though, if you're watching this video and it's like June, July, you know, later June or July, it's probably going to be out of stock by that time. But uh, you know, it will probably be looking at doing some more of the other cities that we have already visited in fountain pen form. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So that was your top five pens for May of 2019. What to expect in June? Well, we've got more videos on deck from Germany. We're still waiting for that Estabrook SD and Lilac, but the pen nooks came in, so that's pretty cool. We have a new special edition from Lamy, which will be announced after the 20th. We also have Father's Day coming up on June 16th. And my dad's the easiest to shop for since he too also likes pens. I grabbed him one of the New York City Skyline pens before it sold out. But if you'd like to get your dad a pen and don't know which one, leave a comment below with some facts about your dad and I'll comment with a recommendation. Big thanks to all of you who support Goldspot pens by liking, subscribing, and placing orders on goldspot.com. You guys make this all possible. And thank you, and stay inky, my friends. Take care.